If you've worked with Houdini for some time, and especially if you worked with rigging, you'll find that at some point you will have trouble accessing world and local space transforms. To give an example, I will just move this null. We now have our transforms. If this is part of a rig or a rig guide, and you want somebody else to use it, you will usually clean these transforms. And that will be the default position for that rig. So if this is a controller, that would be your default position. With rigging, unlike most other parts of Houdini, you're going to be working in the object context, and you're going to need to have transforms in the object context. Houdini is not really set up to do this, and the way it is achieved is rather obscure. More often than not, you'll want to work with vectors, and you'll want to be able to calculate both the world and local position of this object as vectors. It is also useful to extract the rotations individually as well. What I'm going to show you is how to calculate this vector, which is the object in world space. I'm also going to show you how to get the vector, which will represent the object's local translation. We will take this null, and we will try to get its x value to be the same as the world position of a target null. The most typical approach to this would be to use a channel reference. Now if you look through these parameters, you will see that there is a pre-transform, but that that doesn't give you any values. You will also see that it will only give you the local parameters. But in fact, this isn't even giving you the local parameters. It's giving you the value of the channel of the node, but not the position of the node itself. Another problem is you generally want to work with vectors, and since it's not giving you a vector, vector mathematics becomes very difficult. This is of course not the only way to access data. If we were to right-click on the channel, we can then go to References, go to Scene Data, go to our target null, look at its transforms, go to World, and then find its translation. We now have our transform. But if we look at the expression for this, we can see that there are a couple of problems. The first one is there is a lot of code for this expression. The second is what this expression does is it sets the channels for the entire transform. But most importantly, despite the fact that it will give us the correct value, it does not give us a way to interact with that value easily. So unfortunately, this will not solve our problem either. You can, however, access this through expressions. But if you do not know much about scripting, it will be very difficult to find it. The first step in doing this will be to select our nulls that we're going to transform and change the language the null uses from HScript to Python. I'll now select the parameter, and I'll open the expression editor with Alt-E. We will start by selecting the target node, and we will do this by typing in who.node. The node function is used to access information from a specific node in the network. And we will access that node by name in the same way as we would access it with a channel reference. Next, we'll get the world matrix, and we'll do this by calling the world transform method on our target. Then we will want to get our translation. You can also extract the rotation and scale using a very similar method. We do this by calling the extract translate methods on the world matrix. And in the parameter for that method, we will type in SRT as a string. 
This will give us the translation of the null as a vector, which means that we can do vector mathematics with it. To get the result, we'll type return. And to extract the value, in between brackets, we can put in 0 for x, 1 for y, or 2 for z. We can now apply it, and our null's position will follow the target position in x. As another example, we will access the local position of the target. We will select the parameter and press Alt-E to open the expression editor. We will select our target node using the who.node function. Then instead of using the world transform method, we will use the local transform method. We will then extract the translates from the local matrix and return the position. Here I realize I've put on the wrong parameter, so I just copy and paste it and place it on the Y parameter. We've now got one null which is transformed according to the target's world position, and another according to target's local position. The target, however, is not parented by any object, so you cannot really notice the difference. I'll now make the target null the child of another null, and now you can see how we access in the local and world transform specifically.